segment of The Dose, we spotlight your eye health and reasons to see an optometrist, regardless if you're seeing clear today. We are joined by McDonough Family Eye Care. Hi there, everyone. Welcome to SCB TV's new health show, The Dose, presented by Sweet Spot Smiles. We're excited you're with us. Of course, we highlight the health services in your backyard, your community. Now, quick question, when is the last time you had your vision checked? And if you think it's just about 2020 vision, well, you may be wrong. And I'm so excited right now to be at McDonough Family Eye Care with the one and only Dr. Scott Warner and Dr. Brenda Warner, optometrist. Thank you for being with us. Now, it's more than 2020, Dr. Warner. You've shared that with me previously. Uh, so many people think, well, if I don't need glasses, why do I have to go get my eyes checked? Well, there's really thousands of things that you can have and never know it until it's too late. Oh, wow. Um, and, and still see 2020. So it, it's really good, whether you're seeing good or not, to have your eyes checked every year. I see. And what sort of conditions can actually come up that we may not be aware of or they don't show symptoms? Absolutely. So. Um, it's more, we get more worried about the people that have 20-20 vision that okay. don't get their eyes checked because um, they can have something called glaucoma and they don't even know it. They can have pressures of 30 in their eyes and it's something that you can't feel, it's something that you don't know, oh, wow. and it's something that just doesn't have any symptoms at all. Mm -hmm. So I had a case once and it was really sad, but a kid came because he he failed his driver's test. I see. And um, so when he came in, he says, well, I, I just need glasses so I can pass my driver's test. And I said, okay, well, let's check you. And the sad part is that his glaucoma was at this level, it was advanced, oh my. and it was never treated. And so his vision, there was nothing I could do with glasses. Oh wow. His vision was poor because he, he had glaucoma. Wow, and that's such a great example and reason why we should be seeing our medical providers, especially with our eyes, right? That's so important. If he would have had a routine eye exam every year, it would have been caught would have been a picked lot up. sooner. Yeah. Wow. So Ty, now we're with some very well-known names that other people know in terms of designer fashion clothing, but they also make glasses. And what's the uniqueness about these? Here's a product here. Um, it's just really, it's such a well-known brand and it's it's a brand that has a lot of respect in yes. the fashion world and they brought it right over to the eyeglasses. Not only do we have the Prada and Tom Ford and things like that, of course we've got the staples like your Ray-Ban and your Oakley. Okay. We also offer Tiffany. Wow. Um, you know, everybody likes to get that little blue box, a little yes. blue bag, um, <laughs> as well as many others that are really well-known brands. Now for someone watching us, they wear bifocals. Um, I'm sure they're like, well, where's the line in the glasses? <laughs> but you explain there's a difference between bifocals and progressives, explain. There is, so uh, progressive is actually what we would refer to more as like a line trifocal. I you see. actually have three different prescriptions um, which become further and further apart the older we get. Oh, wow. um, so rather than having to have those lines in there, we have that progressive lens that's allowed to put all three of those prescriptions into one pair of glasses rather yes. than purchasing three separate pairs. Oh wow, so, so it's all in one. That's right, and, and you still look like you're wearing regular single vision glasses. Wow, so you don't have that it. line, so you don't have that stigma of looking old or anything like that. Exactly. Um, everybody thinks you know you've just got the regular distance glasses yeah and what I think is really neat as well is that when you see how light these glasses are then you're less likely I'm assuming to get the heavy line that so that's many right. people that wear glasses or on have. the nose yeah that's right so wow they can actually keep the face as smooth as possible as well exactly wow. I mean you know this dr. Warner there's someone saying well yeah I hear you what a great case that uh, you have certainly made but hey if I'm going to my regular doctor right that and they're checking for blood pressure and they're checking for diabetes shouldn't they know that there are other things wrong with my eyes? Well, I think your regular doctor doesn't check your eyes as well as they could. Yes. Um, or as well as we do, I should say. But um, back to the whole thing that there's so many things that can go wrong yes. and you still see well. Wow. Um, you really need to get it checked every year. And some conditions you've shared with me previously come with age, right? Like so many other medical conditions of the physical body that some of our eye health things can just increase because we're getting over the age of 40? Absolutely. So we can still feel young and healthy, but it's so critical that we make sure we keep those eyes in check. I have to ask you this. We know technology is king and queen today, right? So many people love getting on social media, different activities, and they often have those devices and we're watching them late at night, but you don't necessarily think they're the healthiest for our eyes. Now that everyone's on these devices pretty much all the time now, yes. they found out that all this uh, 
looking at these devices, uh, they give off a certain wavelength of blue light that damages our eyes, just like the sun does. Oh, wow. And what's happening, it's causing macular degeneration to happen sooner in our lifetime. Oh, and they're actually predicting by the time kids now get to be in their 70s that macular degeneration is going to double. Oh, wow. Because they're on these things so much younger now. So what's the solution? So there's, there's lots of different things you can do to protect your eyes. Okay. Um, for people that wear glasses, they have lenses now that help block blue light. Amazing. So we recommend that for anyone that wears glasses because that blue light's everywhere. It comes from all these new light bulbs. Okay. Um, you know, it comes from your TV even. Yes. And would you say it's a good idea to allow mom, dad, and grandparents to encourage the kids or young ones to take a break from looking at those screens so long? Absolutely. Yes. There's something called the 2020 rule. Okay. That you should be looking at your device for 20 minutes and then you should look away for 20 seconds. Oh, wow. So that gives your eyes a break. So the, it relaxes the muscles so you don't have to strain as much. So for those of you that don't wear glasses, okay. you're wondering, well, how can I protect myself yes. against the blue light? Well, you can get a blue light filter and you can put it on your devices. Oh, wow. And you can get that online. Um, and they make them for your phone. They make them for the iPad. You can even get them for your computer monitor screen. Yes. Um, and that blocks the harmful blue light. Um, and then they also discovered that the blue light keeps you awake at night. Uh-oh. So the people that are on their phones looking through social media before yes. they go to sleep, well, it actually keeps you awake and it messes with your REM sleep. Uh -oh. So people are waking up and they're tired. So a lot of the endocrinologists are saying, you need to get rid of all the technology in your room, including your TV screens. So wow. So it's, it's, yeah. It's. So Ty, I know the technology of eyeglasses has changed in the last few years, right? It has. So when we think of the bulky, heavy glasses of years ago, you're saying that's not the case because we have some innovative technology. It's not, yeah. They've put a lot of different technology into different types of materials that they use to make okay. the, the frame a lot um, lighter. And there's also a lot of new technology with the lenses that allow those to be lighter and a lot thinner as well. But I'm so amazed at the technology and how these glasses can also bend and they're flexible. They they can. There's there's a lot of manufacturers now that are adding a lot new new technology and new materials in to be able to be a lot more flexible and a lot more durable as well. Now I know here at McDonough Family Eye Care, you all are very big about protecting the eyes even from the sun. That's so right. that same technology you mentioned transitions into our uh, sunglasses as well, right? It does absolutely. Yeah, I and mean, we we've got all of the frames that we have. We can put your prescription in first off, which makes you a lot more safe, especially out on the roadway. Very nice. And experience life a lot better. You know, it's a lot easier to be able to have your prescription sunglasses on. You know, whether it's sitting at a ball game or whatever the case may be rather than you know having to sort of struggle through looking okay. through your regular glasses or you know have the blurriness with your regular sunglasses. Yeah, it can actually stay fashionable any time of year but especially in the summer months or when the sun is beaming. So key question, someone right now in Stockbridge, Georgia is thinking, I went to the eye doctor 15 years ago, the dilation process was not pleasant. Explain how that has changed in recent years. Okay, we do recommend that everybody get a comprehensive eye exam okay. with dilation because it's the only way to see the back of the eye. Okay. However, for the people that don't want to get their eyes dilated, um, there is new technology, it's called the OptiMap, where wow. we can actually see the back of the eye without having to put the drops in. Oh my, yes. so thanks, I've certainly advanced, okay? So yes. one more reason to get the eye wellness checkups. Before we close out, you know, the key question, very important question, how often should we be getting our eyes checked, Dr. Warner? I think as long as everything's healthy, once a year is good. Um, for problems like diabetes, we okay. do like to see our patients a little more often every six months. Um, but regular eye exams is the key. Wow, and key is wellness. You're watching The Dose. Stay with us because in the next segment, we explore the latest technology with high prosthetics. You're watching The Dose.